Many of us start our day with a tablet of antacid Pan D, especially when we are consuming any other antibiotic or are suffering from acidity related issues. Also, most women in their 40s daily consume calcium supplement Shell Cal. As we already know, India is called the diabetes capital of the world with 100 million diabetics. Many of these people daily pop up anti-diabetic drug glimepiride. All of these top selling drugs including antacid pandy, calcium supplement shell cal, anti-diabetic drug glimepiride and high blood pressure drug telmisartan have been flagged in the latest monthly drug alert issued by the country's drug regulatory agency for failing quality tests. Yes, according to the not of standard quality or NSQ alert for August, more than 50 drugs have been declared NSQ or substandard. This list is monthly released by the country's drug regulation watchdog, Central Drugs Standards Control Organization. You can go to their website and check this list for yourself. This list is the result of random samples picked by state drug officers across India and tested in government labs. Other drugs in latest list include anti-reflux medicine, pentocid, erectile dysfunction drug, palmosil, gallstone dissolving drug Urcosol and antipyretic medicine Paracetamol and antibiotic Cepodem XP50 dry suspension. Cepodem XP is prescribed to children to treat severe bacterial infections of throat, lungs, urinary tract and more. While the failure of standard quality testing does not make your medicine lethal but it does make your medicine less effective or ineffective. This list is released monthly, by, but the latest one holds importance due to the failure of critical and essential medicines manufactured by several top pharma companies including Heterodrugs, Sun Pharma, Glenmark, Alchem Laboratories, Hindustan Antibiotics Limited and Karnataka Antibiotics and Pharmaceuticals Limited. But the companies have denied any responsibility for the manufacture of these drugs. They have told the regulator and CNN News 18 that these drugs are spurious and fake and they have investigated the matter and found that these medicines were not manufactured by them. Even if we go by the replies of the drug makers that these drugs are fake, it's a big concern. It is not a good news for doctors, patients and the country as a whole. Eventually, it means that we are popping fake medicines or medicines of compromised quality. Hence, patients will not recover in time and thus have to be on longer therapies or need to take added doses to manage their illnesses. Along with that, the increased cost of medications and repeated visits to doctors due to inadequate response of the medicine will add up a financial burden for a large section of society who are already burdened because of high out-of-pocket expenditure on healthcare. Also, while India is making all possible moves to help in global fight against antimicrobial resistance, but here are all of efforts will go into vain. In the case of poor quality antibiotics, it leads to further increase in AMR, which means pathogens like bacteria, fungi, viruses will become resistant to these antibiotics and these medicines will stop working when we are ill. Hence, putting us at risk of severe infections and even death. Finally, poor quality medicines bring us a bad reputation internationally, leading to fall in revenues of Indian pharmaceutical companies and a loss of export earnings. These are not only short-term worries, but all of them cause long-term harm and that too at an individual, social, economic, national and international level. Let's understand this issue from experts. Over 50 medicines have failed quality testing by CDSCO, which is the standard drug testing facility in India. Now, 
when a drug fails a quality test, it can come under various categories. It can be either because the drug is totally fake, in which case it's called spurious or knuckly, which basically means someone else made the drug in a reputed company's product's name, which is a false labeling. Non-standard quality basically means that the active ingredient, which means the real medicine amount is not accurately depicted. It is not accurately present within the tablet that we purchase, which means that if the tablet promises 100 milligrams of a drug, it might not have 100, it might have just 40 or 30. It could also mean the level of impurity in the medicine can be quite high. Uh, there is a, an acceptable level of impurity, which is different for different countries. And when the level exceeds the acceptable level of impurity, then uh, it is considered non-standard non quality. It, calls, it could also be due to uh, the failure of the, it could also be due to poor quality of other ingredients and also fillers. So drug quality testing is an important part of conducting business and uh, quality tests are done not only in the pharma industry, but also in many other areas. For instance, we get duplicate watches, duplicate, um, duplicate dress material, duplicate vanity bags, uh, so duplicate market exists all around the world and it's important for us to be aware of it and quality checks like this will, will help determine the extent of the duplicate market. Just because a few drugs fail quality testing, that does not mean the entire industry is unsafe. It means that steps have to be taken to reduce or minimize or bring it as close to zero as possible and also to improve the manufacturing practices of the various firms who are producing these medicines and these firms can be either big or small. And in the current list, it is interesting that many large pharma companies' names have been featured, also involving many popular medications. So steps have to be tightened to, uh, to improve the quality control of uh, the medications that are produced, India being the pharma capital of the world. It's very important that the medications we produce are of the highest quality and quality checks like this will go a long way in ensuring that patients do get the right medicines at the right doses and quality. As a word of caution, it's always important not to take medicines on one's own. For a health problem, it is better to follow the doctor's advice to see if medicines are necessary and if necessary for how long and when it must be stopped. Many people have a tendency to look, back, look up old prescriptions or check with somebody in the office who has a similar complaint because many symptoms of different conditions might seem similar. So a medicine that's effective for one condition might not necessarily work for another. So it's important to reduce self-medication to the extent possible and also follow the doctor's advice and also make sure that the medicines we get are of the highest quality.